So for gate one, we did a graphic organizer about World War II. Uh, stemming from the fact here that it was the most devastating conflict in world history, uh, we put connecting phrases on each of these lines. Our first was that there were two major world factions, the Axis and the Allies, listed three examples of each of those. Um, it was fought on two primary fronts, the European and the Pacific. It was driven by nationalism and ethnic cleansing and provided some examples of that and it's widely considered the last just war. So we did it out so that it would be able to be said in one big sentence that it was the most devastating conflict in world history, fought by two major world factions on two primary fronts, et cetera, et cetera. So then for the second part, we were wanting to have the students kind of help cre uh, create a better understanding of how the conflict uh, affected the German people as a whole and they'd be analyzing three effects that uh, World War II and the Holocaust had um, on the Jewish people as well. So materials for this, um, they'd be making a list of summaries um, and then they'd be, we'd have them uh, make um, Cornell notes to do this and they'd do a think pair share about the lecture that we would give on the topic and they would be learning from a passage from the Diary of, Diary of Anne Frank. For the third part, we have some uh, discipline-specific language that we want them to learn, and this includes terms such as nationalism, ethnic cleansing, and genocide, and we will use a links table to help them learn this. So we have an example of a table right here. Uh, we have the word nationalism, and we shorten it to mean nation, which is a word that they can uh, understand. A sentence would be the two nations fought in battle, and then here you have a picture of that here where you have soldiers with an American flag versus soldiers with a Japanese flag. And then um, for some synonyms there's a patriotic feeling, principles, or effort. For number four, which was we needed to find a really good example just to illustrate um, how they're going to just sort of figure out vocabulary and just be able to have something, a resource for them. And we actually, we found, or I found at least, this perfect example. It's called the ABCs of the Holocaust. During it, each student is going to be assigned a letter and they will have to research a term that begins with that letter in order to create a definition. So a few example terms from a variety of letters include ethnic cleansing, nationalism, death camps, genocide, and concentration camps. And finally, for gate five, we came up with a concept mastery routine um, our keywords include, once again, ethnic cleansing, nationalism, uh, death camps, genocide, and concentration camps. Um, just the next factors we have, we have um, that are always present, we have some dominant groups. We have the rational, racializing groups of people, and as always with just sort of negative stuff like this, there's going to be a heavy amount of prejudice involved. Uh, something that's sometimes present is we are, they put people on train cars, there's human experimentation and forced, lane, uh, forced labor, and something that was never associated with the Holocaust include happiness, compassion, respecting the differences of others. And then as some example resources that we could use, we have Anne Frank, Schindler's List, um, the Civil Rights Movement, and Gandhi. And then finally, the Holocaust is the mass murder of Jews under the German um, Nazi regime during World War II, which is going to be just sort of a final way just to draw all of this together. And you are? I'm Alex Beer. Brett Cooper. And I'm Andrew Morris. Signing out.